a meteor swarm is headed to Earth and it could have a catastrophic impact. This is the Beta Torrid meteor shower. This is the same meteor shower that uh, blasted over Tunguska in the early 1900s. This is on the Mirror UK Today's article. Earth will be making its closest approach to the Beta Torrids since 1975, this month of June. A swarm of meteors heading towards Earth could have a catastrophic impact on us. Its inhabitants, scientists warn us, the Beta Torrids is uh, the meteor shower that takes place every single year between June 5th and July 18, when the Earth passes through a broad stream of debris left by Comet Enki. It is less well known than some other meteor showers because it peaks after sunrise, making the shooting stars much harder to see. But scientists believe that the cloud of debris may contain large space rocks that could pose a significant threat to us, to life on Earth. We have the illustration here of the torrid swarm core passing below the eclipse of the Earth, the path of the Earth, the trajectory. Now, some have even suggested that one of these rocks could have been to blame for the most devastating meteor impact of our modern times. That was the Tunguska event of Russia in 1908. That flattened an area bigger of the forest, bigger than London, and destroyed 80 million trees. We're lucky, though, that no one was killed in that explosion, which occurred over the Podkamenaya Tunguska River in Russia. But large areas of forest were obliterated, and the resulting shockwave threw people into the air over 40 miles away. Can you imagine that? The Tunguska explosion is considered a 1 in 1,000 year event, but some researchers believe that another such phenomena could occur much sooner. The Earth will approach within 30 million kilometers, that's 18.6 million miles, of the center of the torrid swarm on June 28th, so that's in about 10 days, the closest such encounter since 1975. Researchers from the universities of New Mexico and Western Ontario of Canada warn us that we could be in for a similarly catastrophic event. Quote, if the Tunguska object was a member of the Beta Torrid stream, then the last week in June 2019 will be the next occasion with a high probability for Tunguska-like collisions or near misses, the researchers wrote in their recent paper. Meanwhile, researchers from Western Ontario University claim that the closeness of this torrid swarm presents a unique opportunity to investigate its overall risk potential. They say that there's a strong meteoric and NEO, near-Earth object evidence, supporting that the torrid swarm and its potential existential risks, but this summer brings a unique opportunity to observe and quantify these objects. This is what David Clark says. He's a Western graduate student. The researchers add that the hypothesized might, the strength of the torrid swarm, is successfully proven, and this also heightens the possibility of the cluster of large impacts over a short period of time. Scientists stress that the risk of a collision is still fairly low, as even in space terms, 18.6 million miles is a long way. However, daylight fireballs and significant air bursts may be visible in the sky during the meteor shower's peak activity, according to the researchers. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. 
Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.